What is going on friends and welcome back to the Minecraft Hub channel. Today we are checking out some crazy world downloads that I found over the past week and we've got five to check out today. Definitely stick around until the end to see the Avatar The Last Airbender world because it is absolutely insane and you're definitely going to want to check it out. All the links to the worlds that I'm including today are going to be down in the description below so you guys can go and download them for yourself. But first off today, we are looking at the city of the future. This map is absolutely insane. It's massive as well. There's so much to explore. I went through so much of the city looking at all the different cool buildings. This dome that we're looking at right here is actually a time machine. Uh, you can see that it's some form of huge uh, spherical reactor. And then right next to it, we also have uh, kind of a biosphere with a jungle inside and a lot of plants. There's a space shuttle up in the sky. There is so much to check out here. And also in the main spawn area, there's some teleports. Uh, so you can check out some of the bigger parts of the city if you want to do that automatically. Makes it really easy to navigate this city and there is definitely a lot to explore even if you just want to fly or walk around. And this could also be a really fun city to do uh, kind of like an adventure map with or just explore with a friend, build something in here with a friend. Could definitely be a lot of fun. Also, if you're wondering, this is the complimentary shader pack that I've got on right now. Just makes everything look a little bit nicer, uh, and I included that for most of the maps. This one right here, though, looks incredible. I love the way the sun shone through all the buildings, uh, so that's kind of why I left it on, but it really does look absolutely incredible. You can see every once in a while I've got some lag spikes going on. That's just because I have my render distance way up high, so don't worry about this stressing out your system at all. As long as you keep a normal render distance, you'll be absolutely fine on this map and all the ones that I included today. Next up, we're checking out this amazing desert oasis. This is fairly small compared to like the massive city, but I think this would make for a really cool uh, survival world map, just having this already built here and then joining in uh, and building things around it or having this be a separate kingdom uh, in this uh, survival world could definitely be very interesting as well. And if the weather holds, then this map is just absolutely beautiful. A great spot to have in the desert. Uh, I really like all the greenery and trees that are in this oasis. It really makes it feel like there's so much life in this desert. And I really like the large aqueduct as well. Uh, just kind of having some water flow through the area. Also, the inside of this palace just looks incredible. One of the best interiors that I've seen uh, for a build like this. It just fits so well and goes with the overall theme of this whole oasis. Uh, so I absolutely love that. I do really absolutely love this map though, as I've said a few times already. I really like uh, the block palette that they went with here, all the white buildings around uh, with also the dark wood, that spruce, it just looks so good combined together to fit inside this desert oasis. And of course the custom trees and greenery and everything adds so much life to this area. It makes it feel like such a cool build and definitely makes me want to download this world and spend a lot of time in it. Next up, probably one of my favorite city builds of all time in Minecraft. I know we've looked at some like that city of the future and Greenfield uh, and some of our other huge city builds before, but this one is extra special because it is all real world buildings. So depending on where you live or where you've traveled to, where you've seen, you may recognize some of these buildings as we fly around. Of course, they're not all one to one scale, but they do look really cool. You're going to see buildings from New York. York, Los Angeles, Rome, uh, just every part of the world really. You can see uh, that there is just basically everything from bridges to skyscrapers. Uh, we even saw like the pyramid and the giant sphinx, uh, although they were fairly small compared to these massive buildings that we're seeing around here. And what's great about this map as well is this center point that we're flying to is actually a way to teleport to anywhere you want in the world. So we can actually go ahead and check out what's inside here. Up on the second level, there's a button with a command block to go anywhere you want. If you want to go to Serbia, Slovakia, Romania, uh, just absolutely anywhere, you're going to be able to find something really cool. Over here, we're actually able to find kind of a little bit of Brazil. Uh, we've got this giant statue over here, and there was also a soccer stadium that said Rio 2016 on it from the World Cup that took place. 
Uh, so really, basically anywhere you are in the world, if you want something from your own country featured in here, it is probably in here. And if it's a not, this is a great world to download and add it in. If you're from Singapore, you'll probably love this building right here. I think this is one of my favorite buildings in the world. I've only ever seen pictures of it, but it looks so beautiful. Definitely a great piece of architecture, and I love seeing that in Minecraft. Got a little bit of Italy over here uh, with the Leaning Tower of Pisa over here. Uh, just so many cool builds. Uh, of course, it's not all just geographical. You can see right next to it, we've got Big Ben and also the London Bridge. So not really gonna tie in uh, specifically city to city, but it does have a lot of buildings from a lot of different places. And of course, if you prefer Notre Dame not burned down uh, just a little bit, then there's a great version of it in Minecraft right here next to the Arc de Triomphe. Next up, we are checking out the Nether Portal. Now this is a really cool world uh, featuring one huge build. It's also got this uh, kind of terraformed area around it to give these real spiky uh, mountains that are all formed by the lava rivers that are flowing beneath but this is such a cool build, focusing in on the nether portal in the center. Could definitely make for a really fun adventure map or a really fun story mode uh, where you kind of emerge from this portal or you happen upon this portal in the world and then just things uh, progress from there. But I think this build looks incredible. I love all the lava around and kind of the deep dark feeling of it. I toured this one at night at first just to give that dark feel for it and then again in the day uh, just so we could see what everything looked like in the day as well. But this is such a beautiful world. Unfortunately, I went through the nether portal. There's not really anything on the other side, but everything that's on the overworld side looks incredible. I love the huge rings up in the sky and you can see here there's some uh, giant structures out kind of uh, keeping people away from this place or making it kind of a place of honor but this thing just looks crazy cool and could definitely be a lot of fun in a lot of different players hands. Last but definitely not least today we have Avatar The Last Airbender. If you've ever watched that show uh, it's you know it's absolutely incredible. If you haven't watched that show, definitely go and watch it and then check out this world. There are different places from all over the show inside this world. I will say it is semi hard to navigate uh, and find your way to the different locations. So if you're willing to put in a little extra time to find them, definitely go for it. I went ahead and found a bunch of the locations in here and they are so cool. So you can see right now, we're actually in the Fire Nation. Uh, this actually will start you out in the Northern Water Tribe. If it doesn't, just go ahead and do slash kill uh, to get yourself back to the Northern Water Tribe and then you can go ahead and start teleporting from there. They've got some buttons to get to different locations like uh, the Northern Water Tribe, uh, some villages, and also the Northern Air Temple, and you can go ahead and find a lot from that area. Uh, if you have watched, just say, season one of Avatar The Last Airbender, you're gonna recognize this right here. This is so iconic and such a cool looking build. They did such a great job of bringing this to Minecraft. It basically includes every significant location from the show. So you're gonna be able to find so much and also find character as well. So right here, we've of course got Aang, we've got the sun and the moon in there. Uh, just so many cool aspects here. I think this Northern Air Temple looks absolutely incredible as well. You can see you actually start out on a flying bison when you come to it, and it's full of life. There's tons of airbenders and everything, so of course it's not exactly accurate to the show uh, considering there's more than one airbender, but it does look incredible, and I love all the life that's brought to this temple in this world. Anyways guys, that is all the time that we have for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button, and if you're new to our channel, hit that subscribe button as well. Also, if you like the look of any of these worlds, all the links for them are down in the description below, so you guys can go and check those out for yourself. But anyways guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.